All right, happy Friday, guys. Um, I just wanted to kind of come on and talk about the latest Premier League news. Prem is back, Boxing Day, some great games. As a City fan, I'm happy with the result. I think we played pretty well against Leeds away. Big transfer already. Uh, we have Cody Gakpo to Liverpool. Rumor to go to United the entire summer, even up until January. You know, he's been rumored to go to United. He's been talking about going to United, working with Ten Hag, uh, being with a Dutch manager. And Liverpool just swooped in, and it was confirmed by Fabrizio Romano, and now confirmed by Liverpool as well. You know, he's already in the jersey and everything. That Cody Gakpo is a Liverpool player. I think it's 37 million plus add-ons, which make up 50 million. And I think personally, you know, for uh, that's a great price, uh, at least in today's market, considering how much players are going for, especially young players that are very technical, very talented, very skilled. You know, Gakpo, he's a very tall forward. Uh, but technically speaking, he's always in the right spot. Great poacher, great at creating chances. I think he has the most goal contributions uh, this season in Europe alone. Uh, just just ahead of Holland, I'm pretty sure. I think it's it's a great fit uh, for him as well. I think he'll do really well under the Klopp system. My Liverpool needed this. Other uh, the Plenish up front, they have Jota that's injured, Luis Diaz that's injured, and they're not coming back for a while. And if they want to push for that Champions League spot to possibly attract Jude, because I know Jude, he wants. He wants Champions League football, and if Liverpool can't get that, he'll probably like to n not be anywhere near that side. That doesn't. If Liverpool's able to hit that top four with Cody, and as their players start coming back into form and and their fitness is up and everything, you know Liverpool could push for that top four, and then possibly attract more transfers coming into the summer. Now, obviously, the big issue is you know they're up for sale. The FGS Group decided to put them up for sale uh, about a month ago. So in that regard, who knows? Who's going to invest in Liverpool and, and how much money they're going to be spending over the summer regarding attracting new players and whatnot. So I think that's a big, big question. But I think this Cody Gakpo transfer is just, it's a really good transfer for them. And I think for the Premier League as well, it's another exciting young player. Once again, showing that the Premier League is the best league in the world. Standings wise, we have Arsenal up ahead uh, with five points. City at 35, City five points below them. Um, and Newcastle at third, Tottenham at fourth, United at fifth, and Liverpool at sixth. City and Arsenal uh, still have a game to play. So Arsenal could go up eight points if City lose that 16th game. Or, you know, City could cut the deficit into two points. It's still an open uh, open race uh, considering that, you know, these teams could have injuries or, or results that completely change the trajectory of how the league ends. I think what's more exciting... It's probably top five, considering there's a lot of teams like Liverpool trying to break through and Brighton and, and you know, United are just there. You know, they want that Champions League football as also. So who knows if they could break through the top four and get the Spurs' fourth place spot. Still up for grabs. You know, great, great week of football. Um, happy that it's back. We'll see how the league continues.